think. Okay. So, uh, before I start, let's just remember the two uh, laws that we studied before. The two laws that we studied. We studied the first law in here, which gives me that pressure multiple volume is a constant. In another form, we said P1 multiple V1 equals P2 multiple V2. This was the first law. Okay, the first. Where? Sorry. Uh, the first law. Okay. The second law that we learned about gases is that pressure divided by temperature is a constant. In other forms, or in other. other Way. We can say P1 by T1 equals P2 by T2. And we solved many examples regarding the uh, two uh, laws. Okay? Inshallah, of course, in the fourth period, also we are going to see uh, some more examples. But now his voice is not clear. Uh, my voice is not clear for all of you. Can you hear me? Please respond if anyone, because uh, Abdullah said that my voice is not clear. Please, Abdullah, make like some adjust uh, adjustment or use a headset. Okay. Anyway, now we're going to see the third love. The third law, guys, gives me the relation between volume and temperature. Imagine I have, let's say I have a pot, okay, like this, that contains a gas, and this pot has here a cover, a sliding cover. Okay, it has a sliding cover. Now, what happens, of course here it has a, a, a volume, V1, at a temperature, T1, okay? What happens if we, for example, if we have another here, but first, what happens if we put this spot on fire? We heat this one. I, I remind you that here I have gas here. I have gas. What do you think will happen to the cover? Is it going to go up or down? And why? Yeah. The red cover. The red cover. Do you think is going to go up or down? Hello. Anyone's talking? I can't hear you. Up, I just the gas. Up, you said up, okay. Okay, it will, it will go up. This is why, who can explain why? Because the fire is down. No, it's not because the fire is down. Basically, the cover will go up because, Yanni, when we when we uh, put it on fire, there will be more. Yanni, the gas will need more space, and since its pressure is constant, the the gas particles need more space, means more volume. So the volume will increase. Again, I repeat. In this case, I am fixing the temper the pressure. Okay. So here. The uh, cover will go up here, means I will have another uh, volume. So here I will have V2 at the temperature T2. Okay? So when you increase the temperature, the volume will increase also. Okay? Uh, of course, this is when the pressure is constant. So now, we write the third law. The third law simply says 
in general, I can say V by T is constant. Okay? Which means that the volume of a gas, please write with me, is directly volume of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature. Yeah, please finish writing a gas of temperature 18 some, uh, Celsius degree has a volume of 35 centimeter cubic. How much will the volume be if we make temperature 40? The most important question in these uh, problems, guys, are how. Uh, 
identify the information because here I will have two temperatures, I will have two volumes, and sometimes I will have two pressures. So I need to identify which one is the first, which one is the second. Okay? Type. So first we put the information that are given and we make the last number 40. The last number 40 is something here. Bassam? Yes, yes, Mr. Yeah, love. Okay, from Celsius to, to Kelvin, okay? Uh, so this is the first information. The second information they say has a volume, 35. So this is first volume. 35. Something meter cubic. This is the first volume, okay? Now they say, how much will the volume be if you make, so I don't know the second volume, they're asking how much will the volume, the volume be? So I need to know the new volume. If we make temperature 40, so I have T2 is 40, directly we change to Kelvin, T2 equals uh, 40 plus 273 is going to be 313 Kelvin. So now I have T1, I have V1. I have T2, but I want V2. Let's start solving. Now I have a formula. V1 by T1 equals V2 by T2. Okay, let's substitute. How much is V1? It's given 35. How much is T1? Remember, I take the Kelvin 291. How much is V2? I don't know. And how much is T2? 3, 1, 3. Yes, 313. Now, using the cross multiple, the cross multiple, I can find V2. So V2 is going to be 35 multiple 313 divided by this. Yes.
So the V2 we use the cross multiple. So 35 multiple 313 divided 219 1. I hope all of you have a calculator. Please do it. I, I want everyone to do it, please. I mean, you need to practice. If you make a mistake here, it's better than you make it in the test. Yeah. 37.6. How much? 30, 37.6. Okay, who got the same? Me. Me too, you got 30. 7.6 Right? Centimeter right. Cube. So this is the new volume This is the new volume Okay? Let me repeat, let me repeat, they say a gas of temperature 18 Celsius degree has a volume 35 centimeter cubic. How much will the volume be if we make temperature 40 Celsius? So they gave me the first temperature and the final temperature. Okay? So this is T1, this is T2. Also, they gave me the first volume and they are asking about the second. So, I have V1 but I don't have V2. It's very important to identify. So, I put my information, I make sure that temperature is in Kelvin. Simply, I add from Celsius to Kelvin, we just add 273. We got it in Kelvin, the second one, the same, we got it in Kelvin. I put the formula that I already know, okay? And I substitute and I find the answer. Any question about this example? Anyone still writing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We take we take another example. Let's take another example. Next. Example 2. Gas of temperature T one. Okay. Has a volume. Has a volume.
liking something that you like. Okay. recording for the two minutes yell to save the time I'm gonna do it myself here and please uh, follow me please follow me to check your steps and your final answer okay so let's put the information hello I guess on temperature T1 so T1 I don't have T1 I don't have which means that T the capital I don't have, right? They say it has a volume 20. This means that V1 is 20 centimeter cubic. This is the V1. Now they say if we make temperature 50, if we make temperature 50, the volume will be if we make the temperature 15 the volume will be 50 so the second temperature is 15 which means I find it in Kelvin T2 is going to be 15 plus 273 is going to be 288 Kelvin and the second volume the second volume is 50 not 20 the second volume is 50 it's not something we can do Hi. now let's apply the formula this is the formula this is the formula B1 by T1 equals B2 by T2. Okay? How much is B1? 20. How much is T1? I don't know. How much is B2? 50. How much is T2? 288. So, T1 will be, let's do cross multiple, T1 will be 20 multiple 288 divided 50. Please find the answer. We said it's a constant number. So I did 15 plus 
Okay? Yeah. Okay. So now they, uh, this is the T1. Now, pay attention, please, guys. Pay attention that they are asking about T small. They are asking about T small. Remember what we said, the formula. Please pay attention. The formula is T capital is T small plus 273. I have this, I have this, I need this. Okay? So, the T small is going to be this, I take it to the first side. So here, T1 equals T1 minus 273, which is 1, 1, 5, 1, 2, minus 273. Give me the answer, please. What? 115.2 minus 273. You know why I did that? No, boy. Why? Because they are asking about T small, which is in Celsius. What I got here is in Kelvin. What I got here is capital T. They are asking about the small T. Please pay attention. So, I know that capital T equals to small T plus 173. I want the small. I take this to the other side, so it's going to be negative. I know this from math. So, T1 is going to be T capital 1 minus 173, which will give me, yeah, the calculator, please. Negative 157.48. One negative 100. 47. 57. 57.8. 0.8 Celsius. Degree. Celsius degree. Okay? Maybe somebody will ask me, Mister, why did you why did you change the Celsius? Because they are asking about the small t. You see? Find the T1, which is small. The small t is in Celsius. That's why I changed here. Okay? That's why I changed to find it in Celsius. I hope it's clear. Yes, it's clear. Yalla, you finish writing? No. Yeah. Because basically that's it for this session. That's what we are going to discuss.